today I'm going to isolate a tooth and I'm going to demonstrate different techniques in rubber gum isolation. The first thing that we have to understand is before you do any isolation, make sure that the tooth is clean. Then once you have examined that it is clean, then you have to select now the club. How do we select the clumps? As you can see here, I have three types of clumps, okay, different sizes. For you to be able to understand which clump are you supposed to use because each of the manufacturer has its own numbering on the clump, all you have to understand is the jaw. The measure distal weight of the jaw of the clump will also be the measure distal weight of the tooth. So in this case, this is for the molar, maxillary anterior teeth, maxillary premolars, and mandibular premolars, and the smallest jaw will be for mandibular incisors. So I'm going to isolate the maxillary central incisor. You have to examine the mission distal weight of the tooth. So, after we have selected, we have to try to pre-fit it. Make sure that the bow is on the distal side of the tooth or something that is away from our eyesight. So we put it labial and then labial. After we have placed it, we have to examine if it will have the four-point contact. What is a four-point contact? Make sure that these four points will be, on con will be in contact with the tooth. It should be hugging the tooth and not the gingiva. So, we have to make sure that we put a dental floss. Okay, how do we do it? I just do like this. Press. And then, okay. I do this five times. Two. Three. four, five. So now, you have secured your clump, okay, with the dental floss. I'm going to isolate tooth one, one, this one. I just have to put it here, and then make a mark. So all you have to do is, since I have made a marking, insert, and then, Pull it up and down. Make sure that the hole is clean. There's no nicks or there's no tags. Because once you stretch it, okay, those nicks and tags will cause tearing of this rubber dump sheet. Okay, how do you keep this? Now, normally the rubber dump sheet, it's made of rubber, so you have to place it inside the refrigerator. So to place the clump, just stretch it, okay, and then, okay, so you place it there. Make sure that it is perpendicular to the long axis, okay, because otherwise that will cause some creases or wrinkles when you place this on this tooth. Okay, labial and then lingual. Okay, you need to get your rubber down frame from one side, and then another side, and then I go middle, I go another side, and then the remaining hook. Of course, you don't end it here because you still have to do the last part, which is tuck this in using your Woodson plastic instrument okay because if you do not tuck it in what happens is the saliva you have a hole here the saliva can get out of the here so you won't have any isolation to have so you have isolated the tooth maxillary central incisor 
Nowadays, they would suggest that part of the nose should be covered. If part of the nose should be covered, then the hole should be made farther from the edge of this. By the way, make sure that the dull side is facing the operator and the shiny part is facing the mouth. Okay, you just have to stretch this and then adjust this area. Okay, now you have to put the rubber dam frame, stretch. So what I have done is rubber dumb plumb, then followed by the rubber dumb sheet, then the rubber dumb frame. The last technique would be the all together technique. The all together technique means you have place the clump on the rubber dump sheet okay and also now the frame so this is all together technique okay. okay then as usual you have to insert this okay so that's it So you can do split dump technique. The split dump technique is usually done if you're working, for example, on this tooth. This central incisor here needs root canal treatment, but it does not have enough tooth structure wherein you can place your clump. With a split dump technique, you can either do the dump first or the rubber dump with the rubber dump sheet or the all together but usually I prefer the rubber dump sheet with the rubber dump clump. What are we supposed to do with the hole? We have to modify it. So I have to connect three dots or three holes. Okay, a bigger rubber dump hole. Okay. Anchor it now on the lateral incisor. Okay, and then check the four point contact and then release, release, and then I'm going to stretch this to the central incisor. Okay, so it's now stable. Get again your rubber gum frame. Of course, you don't want to work with all this. Now, if you have a good contact point, even one is enough, but if you don't have good contact point, you can repeat this. In this case, the contact point is too tight. Get this. Okay, now, so after your root canal treatment, again you remove it. Okay, and then remove the floss, and then that's it. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do it on the molar or premolar on the posterior tooth 
So, for example, I'm going to do it on the 36. First thing, make sure it's clean. Next is you have to select from your clumps again. Okay, I have three clumps here, and the best clump that will fit the Misho Distal width of this smaller is this clump. All I have to do is to do the pre fitting. Okay, so you fit it, you insert it, buckle, and then lingual. Then you have to check the four point contact, it should be stable. Once you have the four point contact, all you have to do is remove it and then tie this. How do I tie again? You just do like this. One, four, and then five. So now this is secured. So you're going to work on three six. 36 is here. Get again your rubber dump punch. I'll now place it on the biggest hole. Okay, go up and down. Again, what is the characteristic? There's no nicks and there's no tags. Now remember, this one goes to the distal. It's like this. Okay, stretch. And then stretch. Okay. Now it's perpendicular. To this rubber dome sheet you hold it like this and then insert you buckle and then lingual remove this tuck it in touch it again one and two three four then the remaining after you finish so this technique again is the clump with the dump now what about if I'm going to a 36 but it does not have good clinical crumb so all you have to do is again you do the split dump technique so I'm going to anchor my rubber dump clump on 37 and then the end will be on this 3-5 or 3-4, okay? You get this. Okay. So this is 3-7 and the 3-5. So I'll go first on the middle. That's one. I have to connect the dots. I'll just try here the clamp first. Okay. Pre-fitting, okay. The clamp first. I just have to stretch. And then you put the rubber down the clock. Okay. Next is I am going to put the rubber down frame. Of course, this will not end with all this. You have to cut. You have the split down technique. We're in in this case. Try to imagine that this tooth, that's this three six, does not have enough to structure where you can place the clump. teach you okay so my technique is simpler 